Hello friends, this video on NEET genetics is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 20. Two dominant non-allelic genes are 50 map units apart. Okay. The linkage is cis type, trans type, complete, absent or incomplete. Okay. Now, what do we understand by cis and trans type? We have already discussed this before that when two genes are linked, so when they are like, we are sure that they are linked, that is, they are located on the same chromosome. So when you have something like this, let's say this is one chromosome and this is the other chromosome, like these two chromosomes together make the homologous chromosomes. So if two genes are located on these two chromosomes, there comes the concept of linked genes or cis type, trans type linked genes. So cis type would be when the dominant alleles are present on the same chromosome and the recessive alleles are present on the other pair of the homologous chromosome. So that is cis type. And when you talk about the trans type, there what happens is again you have the two chromosome. So on one chromosome you have one dominant allele and one recessive allele. On the other chromosome you have again one dominant allele and one recessive allele. So that's trans type. So in this case the two dominant non-allelic genes are 50 map units apart. So basically the two dominant alleles but the, the two alleles are non-allelic genes. That means they do not belong to the, the two alleles are for two different genes. But they are 50 units map apart. So obviously cis type, trans type options will not be, I mean, we are not very sure whether it is cis type or it is trans type. But at the same time, Looking at the distance, which is 50 map units. So 50 map units is a good enough distance between the genes. Like we are not very sure if the genes are actually linked. We are not even sure if the genes are very far apart. So the genes are linked, but we are not too sure if this is going to be a cis type or a trans type uh, linkage. So therefore, in this case, the most appropriate option would be absent or incomplete because this the information which is given in the problem doesn't clearly tell us if the linkage is complete so complete linkage would mean that like a the two genes which we are talking about they are linked genes that is they are located on the, they are like different alleles of the same gene but the question doesn't tell us that clearly so since we are not very sure so the option would be the linkage is either absent or it is incomplete because the distance between the two genes are quite far so if the two genes are far apart so obviously there will be no linkage so whenever there is linkage the two genes have to be close enough since the distance is quite far apart so we are even doubting whether the link whether the genes are linked or not so what we are saying is there is a possibility that the genes are not at all linked so linkage is absent or there is a possibility that there is incomplete linkage. So there is some kind of linkage but not complete linkage. Because we will talk about cis type or trans type only when there is complete linkage. Because cis and trans are the types of linkages that we discuss. Question number 21. In human beings 45 chromosomes single X or XO abnormal abnormality causes Down syndrome, Kleinfelter syndrome, Turner syndrome or Edwards syndrome. So whenever there is an absence of a X chromosome partly or completely in females that syndrome is termed as the Turner syndrome. So by now you all know Down syndrome is trisomy 21 where you have an extra copy of chromosome on number 21. Kleinfelter syndrome is when you have a total of 47 chromosomes due to the presence of additional sex chromosomes like XXY. Edwards syndrome is again an autosomal disorder where again you have an extra copy of chromosome on number 18. So Turner syndrome is the one where you do not, there is an absence of an X chromosome partly or completely. Question number 22, when a certain character is inherited only through female parent, it probably represents multiple plastid inheritance, cytoplasmic inheritance, incomplete dominance, Mendelian nuclear inheritance. Now, so only through female parent. So, now when you look at these options, you see that 
anything which gets inherited only through female parent that is often termed as maternal inheritance and maternal inheritance has another synonym and that synonym is cytoplasmic inheritance now you might be interested to know why that's because when you compare the female sex cell which is egg and when you compare it with the male sex cell which is the sperm you see that the size of the egg is quite big when compared to the size of a sperm and therefore the amount of cytoplasm that is contained in an egg is much more than that of the cytoplasm which is contained in sperm so that is why maternal inheritance because maternal inheritance happens through the egg and the egg has more cytoplasm so therefore it is called cytoplasmic inheritance so whenever a character is getting in inherited only through the female parent we often call it maternal or cytoplasmic inheritance question number 23 blue eye color is recessive to brown eye color a brown eyed man so okay so what does this mean this means that so both blue and brown are different versions of the same gene that is eye color so if brown is the dominant one blue is the recessive one so blue is small b and brown is capital b now a brown eyed man whose mother was blue eyed marries a blue eyed woman so a woman would be blue eyed since since blue is the recessive allele so a woman would be blue eyed only when the woman has both the alleles recessive because the recessive allele will express its phenotype only when it is present in the homozygous condition so that means the woman's genotype would be small b small b now what about the man's genotype now there are two possibilities since the man is brown eyed there is one possibility that his genotype could be capital b capital b there is another possibility that his genotype is capital b small b so how do we know what is the genotype of the man now the man's mother was blue eyed now since the mother was blue eyed that means the mother was small b small b so mother would have contributed one small b to this man so therefore the man's genotype would be capital b small b so this is not an option okay so now we know the genotype of the man and the woman so we have to find out what proportion of their children would be blue eyed and brown eyed so brown eyed man that is capital b small b marries blue eyed woman which is small b small b so what are the possible gametes that will be formed capital b small b and here it would be small b small b so let us look at the various options in the next generation this would be capital b small b capital b small b small b small b small b small b right so when you look at their children you see 50% of them 2 out of 4 would be brown eyed so 2 out of 4 would be brown eyed and 2 out of 4 would be blue eyed right so how many are brown eyed 2 out of 4 how many blue eyed 2 out of 4 so what is the ratio so the ratio would be 1 is to 1 therefore both blue eyed and brown eyed in the ratio 1 is to 1 Question number twenty-four. Both husband and wife have normal vision, though their fathers were color blind. The probability of their daughter becoming color blind is okay. So let's let's first find out the genotype of the husband and the wife. But both of them have normal vision, so definitely they are not color blind. Now we know that color blindness is a X-linked recessive trait. So only if a person has only if a woman has xc xc she would be color blind only when a man has xcy he would be color blind now the husband is not color blind that means the husband has xy that's simple now the wife is also not color blind but that doesn't guarantee that the wife would be xx because there is another possibility that the wife could be xcx where the wife is a carrier but the wife is not color blind so how would we know that what is the genotype of the wife now the wife's father was color blind now color blindness is an x follows x linked inheritance so it always gets passed on from fathers to daughters so therefore the wife would get a color blind gene from her father so therefore the wife would be xcx now let us look at the possibilities for the gametes and then for the next generation
So this would be x c x, this could be x x, this could be x c y and this would be x y. So these are the possibilities in the next generation. Now the probability of their daughter becoming color blind. So if you see what are the possibilities for daughter. So this is a normal daughter. This is again a career daughter but she is also a normal. So you see is there any both the daughters none of them are color blind. So the possibility that a daughter could be color blind is zero. So the daughters will not be color blind. So the daughters can either be normal or they can be career but not color blind. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.